Over the years, careful study has shown that the contribution of small and medium enterprises (SMEs) to the global economy transcends job creation. It directly tackles poverty, ensures sustainable industrial development, and impacts on gross domestic products and gross national income. Nigeria, like most other emerging nations, experiences the proliferation of small and medium businesses, which fail to maximize their full potentials, owing to a host of roadblocks, including but not limited to poor funding, inadequate preparation and management, unfavorable government policies, and infrastructure deficit. In Nigeria, it's difficult for any business to thrive. When taxes become too much, we don't have basic infrastructures, and at the same time, you're overtaxing us. Because of that, a lot of businesses are hitting the rock. So we need these small and medium enterprises to be able to have enough employment in the country. The desire to change the dynamics of entrepreneurship and SMEs in Delta State, amongst other goals, set Senator Dr. Afoy Fanyokoa on a recovery course upon assumption of office as governor of the oil-rich state. The blueprint of his prosperity mission is summarized in his administration's SMART agenda. In 2015, the administration instituted the Job and Wealth Creation Bureau and kick-started the transformative agenda with the Skills Training Entrepreneurship Program, STEP, and Youth Agricultural Entrepreneurship Program, YAGEP, being the pioneer projects which, after six successful cycles, have trained and established over 6,074 young Deltans in different enterprises ranging from crop and livestock production, fashion design, baking and confectionaries, makeup, leather works, hairdressing, welding and fabrication, and ICT, amongst others. Thousands of Delta youths have been trained in various skills, including agricultural and non-agricultural skills. They have been equipped and they have been established and supported to start their various enterprises and businesses. And the impact today is that many youths who were previously unemployed are today employed relatively in their various enterprises and many of them are also today employers of labor. The very clear wide reach of the state empowerment programs has triggered the expansion of the schemes. Very recently, the Job and Wealth Creation Bureau graduated 1,000 beneficiaries and recognized a number of outstanding entrepreneurs from previous cycles, including persons living with disabilities. Governor Kowa, thank you very much. Speaking at the event, some beneficiaries summarized Governor Kowa's initiatives in three words. Think, empower, sustain. Your Excellency, thousands of Deltans have benefited from your job creation programs and many more are still benefiting. This, to our mind, is an eloquent testimony of the actualization in clear terms of your smart agenda and stronger Delta vision. It is clear even to the blind that your administration is youth-friendly. Think youth, build the youth and sustain the youth. Before the empowerment came in, life had been like hell to me. If they can make room for third tenor, I would like him to come back for the third tenor again. Because he's a God sent man and he has been doing well for every physical challenge, even not only the physical challenge, everybody in this state. The dividends of the state's investment in human capital development has indeed borne good fruits and continues to beam rays of hope. Our quest to access the returns on this investment set out our smart Delta team to hit the ground running to meet a number of successful beneficiaries. Our first stop was at Divine Crystal Agro Allied Services and Farms, where we met Joy in Limaku, Yaga beneficiary. We watched her tend to her birds and she let us in on the intricacies of keeping her birds healthy and comfortable, after which she let us join in on picking eggs for sale. 
and I was empowered with 400 broiler chicks and 90 bags of feed. So I raised that 400, I expanded to about 600 and something broilers. Right now I have about 800 beds here. Every week I save 27,500 after buying feed. From the money I have saved, I just bought two acres just from this poultry. The governor has delivered on his promise. Now we are not just at the point of being engaged anymore, we're engaging other people. On a short walk from the poultry, Joy showed us how she has capitalized on her natural passion to rare birds, backed with the state government's support to become an outstanding entrepreneur who not only raises birds for meat and eggs, but has also expanded to owning a one-stop shop for poultry supplies. These vaccines keep the birds alive. This is for Newcastle disease. So we sell everything that you need to raise your birds from day old till maturity. From Joy in Lemaku's farm, we visited Alfred Ulori's fish farm. He welcomed the team and took us on a long walk to his fish pond. We joined in on the feeding of his fish. He explained how he got into the business and shared his future plans with us. I heard about Yagev through my auntie. She told me, I'm like, guy, show you the do fish farming. I'm like, and there's this from the state government being come out to, ah, guy, why you not go collect the phone? I'm like, I beg, ah, scam. So she eventually dragged me to collect the phone. My own success story is mind blowing. And if you're not being able to feed yourself and then you get properties and then you have cars, then, then you get married. It was the next level for me because I can't do it in a local level. The local level doing it right now, I think I've understood the local level to an extent. So it's not taking it outside the concept of this zone and then taking it abroad. Okay. Eat food well. okay. It's been such a long, tiring and scary walk through this swamp farm. But such testimonies like Alfred's of young Deltans moving from a place of being unemployed to being entrepreneurs and eventually employers of labor excites me and tells me a lot about the success of Governor Okowa's job and wealth creation vision. Come with us as we uncover even more testimonies from young Deltans. Our quest for more led us to the busy Ugeli town where we met Paul Eruwedede, a paint manufacturer who although had the knowledge of paint making, used the STEP program as a springboard to elevate his business. He schooled us through the process of making silk paint and allowed us to play around with the product. Grow from here to there if you want to. Yes. It's actually spreading faster. I'm grateful to God that I'm not where I used to be. So after the training, we actually empowered with some data packs, uh, which I put into use and from production and jobs I did. I got revenues from inside so and started expanding. And so it has been helpful. I've trained a few as well. So uh, it's actually a good thing that uh, Governor Fanyo Kowa kept to his words. That's done noble. From Ugeli, we hit the state's commercial capital, Wari, to meet Mercy Estiana Kenya, a caterer and baker who also trains a number of girls in the business. She took time away from teaching her students to share her club sandwich recipe with us. When you are done with this layer, you put in another layer, your next layer, then you put your last layer. These are vegetables with egg. You are done. Speaking with the team, she told us how the STEP program changed her narrative from being a dependent to becoming an independent single mother able to cater to the needs of our children. After giving her sister back, I got this place I am now. As the business was growing, I saw there was no space. I have to expand. Because I'm a single mom, I can pay my children's school fees by myself, not asking people to help me. I can pay my store rent. I can fend for myself. Through Governor Kowa's vision, I also took upon that vision to also do free training to some persons that don't have money to learn. It has stopped new treatment. We also listened to her trainee, Faith Esogene, and Mama Queen Esena Keria, Mercy's mother. She relayed how helpful the empowerment has been in shaping the dynamics of our daughter's life. We also captured on camera 
the expression of joy shared between mother and daughter through singing and dancing. <laughs> If not for Governor Okowa, many of us would have been in the streets begging, suffering. I benefited from it through my madam here because she has been teaching us the ones she experienced from the program. I'm happy well, well for the work where well, they work. When I come here, say Okowa come to help him. I come happy for myself. I oh. they pray for my picking, I they pray for Okowa, say Okowa do well. Because without Okowa, my picking not go get the standing when it did today. We advanced further into Wari Town to visit Prosper Adibo, a cord wainer who gifted Governor Kowa a pair of shoes during the graduation of Step and Yageb beneficiaries. We watched him hard at work on his craft, fashioning out components for a pair of sandals. We quizzed him to know the motivation for his grandeur gesture and he obliged in an interview. What I did for his excellency is a way of saying thank you for what you did for me. So this program has really, really changed my life. I was unable to pay off my bills. But after the program and I was being exposed to doing it in a professional way, by his grace, I'm now a professional on this work. And today people come from different places to patronize my work. For centuries, practitioners in the beauty industry have enjoyed patronage, especially from women in need of such services as hairdressing, makeup artistry, and spa. Bernice Uchibolo, a resourceful entrepreneur, has mastered the art of beauty and offers varying services at Bernice Beautified Beauty Shop. Bernice welcomed us into her business space and resumed work on a customer in her spa. You can't see this in so many states. It's not even easy to train young people. I'm an inspiration to a lot of people. A lot of people call me and be like, ah, Benny, how did you do it? But trust me, if not for this STEP program, I don't even think I'll be here today. I'll thank Governor Okowa especially because he's not just being a governor. He stood like a father for the youth. Like many other outstanding beneficiaries, Benny's has a number of government trainees under her wings. We met a number of them learning. Although originally meant to learn makeup artistry, they benefit from the diversity of activities in their learning environment. I'm inspired that a beneficiary from state's government is also teaching me to learn more. And with what I'm seeing from her, I'm always having the encouragement to do much than her. Governor Okoa promised to create jobs for the youths and he has achieved that because he has trained a lot of people. God bless him for this wonderful initiative that he has come up with. Uh -uh. I win you. You're not with me. Wait me, wait me. Give me my money, give me my money. Give me my money and I mean with me. I say you're not with me, you're not with me. I say you're not with me. You see, they do safe. Eh? Cecile, your uh -huh. friends, no, no, they, they do this they do this thing again. Eh? Because they don't care into the job creation platforms when Governor go and they create. Eh? Ah, Oni, say something now. My dear, you have said it now. Eh? For this country, for this Nigeria, where we did so, if you want to mention state when they say they empower youths, where where you go mention Delta State. Governor Kowa take the youths to heart. It don't create different job creation platforms to make sure say we get better life for Delta State. As a matter of fact, Tega, a friend, when he be say he do job creation, as I talk to you, so he does the export fish, they go other states. He they do very well, he even they give back to the state by empowering other youths. Hey, and now we hear say all the outstanding beneficiaries of job creation since 2015. To this 2022 days, so Governor Kowa don't give them the money when he promised them. Ah, money? Where? Your, your father. Ha, ah, honey. You know the easier the money. You are his father. Oh. No insults. Lord, forgive me. It shall be well with your father. Amen. If I hear your amen there. Governor Okawa transforming lives through your creation platforms. Smart Delta. 
After a day's rest to recuperate from our trips, we embarked on a three-hour trip from Asaba to faraway Patani to ascertain the extent of the program's reach. We visited Ibike Bena Ishime, a beneficiary of the Pioneer Cycle of the STEP program, who has excelled so well that she has become a tutor for the state government. We met a practical class where she taught her students how to make pastries. She identified Governor Kowa as a father and gladly shared her success story with us. Before now, I was like that normal youth that the after school or everything, you actually don't have what you are doing until our governor came with this smart agenda to empower the youth. From that 2015 to 2022, the programs are still on. I'm a beneficiary and today I'm glad to say that I am now a trainer. The governor raised another body to be monitoring all the beneficiaries. So you see, to strengthen my business, this shows that I have a father that cares for all deltas. We also spoke to a number of our trainees who are equally beneficiaries of the state empowerment programs on their journey to becoming entrepreneurs and attaining their goals. This program is not a scam. They can see me live and direct. I will say a very big thank you to Dr. Ifan Yokoa for this privilege. We appreciate you, we love you, and we are saying thank you. Ibike Bena joined us on a short drive into the town, leading us to the community palace where we met Pa Louis Nguru, administrator of the Kabawe Palace, who has been a long-time customer of our business. He had kind words for the state government for establishing entrepreneurs within their community. Take a listen. Governor Koa has done a lot of good things to us. Before now, if we want catering services, we used to travel to Geli or to get our caterers to come and work for us. But this time, we are just there. Those she has trained and empowered are on their own businesses, and they are doing very well too. Some have spread into other villages to help others through our very efficient service to this community. And we are glad about it. On the 22nd of March 2022, a number of outstanding STEP and Yage beneficiaries laughed all the way to the banks because Governor Fanyokoa fulfilled his promise to encourage them with cash awards to boost their businesses. We spoke to a number of them and they did not fail to register their joy. I feel very excited. <laughs> I cannot describe the level of excitement right now. The money I receive, I would use it to boost my business. It was supposed to be 200,000, but a shocker came and it told us it's now 500,000 there. So the excitement is doubled. You see, the joy is written in everyone's face that indeed what he said is not scam, it's not fake. It's real. Our father, we say thank you for being there. Indeed, you have turned a lot of dreams into a reality. We want to say thank you. God bless you and your family. The multiplier effect is beginning to manifest in the increase of blooming entrepreneurs in Delta State. A case in hand is Voke Egwede, CEO Jazz Stitches, who was trained and established under the STEP program in 2018. She has trained several Deltans who are now independent entrepreneurs. During the award ceremony, she was flanked by a number of her trainees. We recognized one of our old trainees, Ogane Tejiri Oboba, now an awardee, whom the Smart Delta team had once interviewed whilst still in training. This indeed is the actualization of Governor Kowa's dream of sustainable job creation. I feel very excited. I started the journey very small and over the years I've grown and the governor has never left my side for once. He gave me the initial push that I need and still he kept on even up to now he's still awarding me for a standing stepreneur. I started as a trainee, I became a trainer, and now my trainees are also receiving award on the same day I'm receiving my, I'm extremely excited. I'm really, really happy. I really appreciate the governor, Dr. Ifai Nukowa. I just want to say a very big thank you to him. He has tried a lot. He keeps his promises and everything. Thank you very much, Dr. Ifai Nukowa. 
Understanding the importance of the sustainability of the Job and Wealth Creation Bureau, Governor Koa has looked beyond his administration and taken steps in conjunction with the legislature that would benefit generations of Deltans. The Smart Delta team sat with Sharif Uberewari, Speaker of the Delta State House of Assembly, to tell us more. Hear him. The Delta State Job and Wealth Creation Bureau was passed and assented to in 2019 to give a legal backing. Before then, it was called the Job Creation Office and we have to legislate on it and today it has come to stay. It is very important because what we were doing then, there was no legal backing. But now, even when the governor have left, that thing is helping us in Delta State because the major function of that Job and Wealth Creation is to curb unemployment of youth. A number of Deltans have registered their joy and approval at the bill being passed into law to sustain the Job and Wealth Creation Bureau. I feel good. -da 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 -da. What Governor Kowa has done is so remarkable. And he promised that government after government in Delta State is going to continue this youth empowerment program as it has been passed into law. Because we are so scared, we are like, ah, so after this government, which is going to end by next year, that means this whole thing may end. But when he said that that day, I was like, wow. Meaning, what he's doing is really coming from his heart and he wants it to continue. The Directorate of Youth Mentoring and Monitoring, Bureau of Orientation and other offices have been instituted and charged to work in partnership with the Job and Wealth Creation Bureau to ensure that alongside basic skills, other important aspects of business are inculcated into beneficiaries. His Excellency Governor Fayyad Okowa understands development in terms of human capacity infrastructure and that's led to the creation of the State Orientation Bureau. State Orientation Bureau has to do with marketing of government policies, perception management and skewing the mindset of the youth to be able to assimilate the innovations and creativities of government. Beyond creating the State Orientation Bureau, the state government created Director of Youth Mentoring and Monitoring to create the needed perception, to accept the creativities and innovation of government in the area of job creation. Not too long ago, the Smart Delta team joined beneficiaries of the Job and Wealth Creation Office alongside government officials during a cleanup exercise in Asaba, the state capital. We sample their opinions to find out why they were committed to the cause. Hear them. The governor of this state, Senator Dr. Otto Okoa, have done so much for us as youth in the other state. So I demi fade this morning to leave my business to come for to contribute my own quota in a little way, not only cleaning my own environment where I do my business, but to come out to clean also the environment where I don't do my own business, to give us good help. Following dwindling receipts from oil, the state government has focused on maximizing earning opportunities from non-oil exports. Through the Export Initiative Office and Unido Center, entrepreneurs in Delta are geared up to improve foreign exchange earnings. Recently, a number of the state beneficiaries who are now competent business persons in the fashion world display their works on the runway of the next fashion trend. Yeah, I'm not only known in Delta State, I will say all over the world. Because at the moment, I produce for the Nigerian Army, I produce for VIO in Lagos, I produce for the Supreme Court Security Department. I want to say a big thank you for this opportunity because I don't think I would have been able to have this opportunity on a platter of gold. I feel really delighted and one of the luckiest beneficiaries because after the program, I had a special visit from the Governor of Delta State, Senator Dr. Ifai Okowa. And it did not just stop there. Like after the training and graduation, after we were given our starter pack, I also have the opportunity to show my work to the world. Governor of Delta State, Senator Dr. Ifai Okowa, I want to say a very big thank you for this huge opportunity which you have given to me and my colleagues. Although the fight against poverty and unemployment is far from over, it is safe to say that Governor Fanyokoa's tenacious determination to impact his corner of the world and change the narrative for the Delta youths continues to raise the banner of hope as he continues in his quest to bequeath a stronger Delta. The feedback segment. 
question of the day. I want to answer our data state government. How they fit it empower me. I don't get so knowledge for this uh, painting production. So I need the government to empower me. Carol, thank you very much for that question. The state government has programs, including the Rural Youth Skill Acquisition Program and the Project Jest that cater for youths who have acquired skills uh, and are in need of critical support. So my advice is that you watch out for the announcement, the public announcement, which is widely uh, circulated in social media, radio, television, and various uh, media, so that any time the announcement is made, you can collect the form and apply to take part in the program. Thank you very much. I want to urge all the Deltans and all Nigerians and persons from across the world to continue to watch Smart Delta. They're doing so well. It's a good means of communication of what we do in Delta State. I'm quite excited that they've been getting the information out there. If you want to know a lot about what is going on in governance and development in Delta State, continue to watch Smart Delta. You will definitely be able to get all the information that you require. Text your questions to 0812119233 or send with a hashtag access to all our social media platforms. It better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do it better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do. I see your job and work creation in Delta. Make the youth set them higher. Okowa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people set them cooler. Come live in Delta. Tell me I say. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state.